Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, it is another anti-haul or is it? We're going to be talking about all the new makeup releases and whether or not it's worth buying. So you guys want to see what those are, what I'll be getting and probably won't be getting. Well then definitely keep watching. Oh guys, I absolutely love it during this series. It's always so fun to sit back, relax, talk about all the new makeup releases and whether or not I'm gonna get it or if you should get it, talk about the price point, talk about the new products. So this is just such a fun video for me. I know we're a little early, but it's because I am filming a really big video for you guys coming up. So I wanna focus on that. So I am getting this one out just a little bit earlier, but I do want you guys to know I do get all my information from Trend Mood or Indie, Makey's, Indie, Indie Makeup Spotlight new makeup releases. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right on in. The first thing we have is the new Sheer Skin Tint by Summer Fridays. This is their first complexion product. This is a lightweight coverage with a natural finish. It's infused with tiger grass, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and a variety of emollients, including avocado oil and vitamin E, and it's available in 10 shades. And I just noticed that there's such a trend in terms of like foundations or skin tints. I know like a lot of people right now are really focusing on skin tints, but for someone like me, skin tint is definitely like a no-go for me because I'm so oily that skin tints just don't tend to work well on my skin, unfortunately. Oh my God, I wish. I wish I could just literally on my days off or days I don't feel like doing any like heavy makeup, I could just sit there and just throw in a skin tint, dab a little bit of concealer and call it a day. But your girl is so oily and I have such large pores and I have such large pores that I just, it doesn't look right on me. So I do tend to not like skin tints at all. I am definitely more of like a medium to full coverage girl. And uh, yeah, so definitely important to be passing on this. This is actually gonna be available on their website as of August 16th, so it is available now. Unfortunately, I don't know what the price point is because there's no price point listed, but it is available as of now. Okay, so next we have new lip products from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the birthday celebration launch. It's gonna include three high shine glosses and three lip crayons. It's going to be available as of August 10th. And I am definitely going to pass on this. I have no desire to shop Kylie Cosmetics. And I know there's like this big debate. I take what I see online with a grain of salt, but there's like this big debate of Kylie, Cos like Kylie Jenner going to Italy and going to her Kylie Cosmetics lab. And like she's inside the lab only wearing like a lab coat and she's like mixing products. She's trying out products. She's like messing around with everything but she's not wearing a hairnet or gloves all she has is just on a lab coat and there's so many people who gave her so much shit for it and she said it was just for promos there she didn't mess with the actual product she literally just went into that particular room to do promo shots but some people were like why would you build a whole like laboratory set just for you to do promos when you never go over there so it's like a big debacle about kylie cause about kylie jenner going to kylie cosmetics laboratory and being inside there without having any sort of like safety procedures. Now, I don't know what the truth is. I don't know if she was truly inside the lab and just got called out for it, or if she was like in a staging area, but I just find it so hard to believe that a laboratory would form a staging area. And the only reason why I say that is because I actually had the privilege of going down to Ofer Cosmetics Laboratories, and I got to see their actual facility, see their factory, and they don't have a staging area. They don't have a staging area where you can go and fake take photos of making the products. Like there is no such thing there at Ofer Cosmetics and you had to wear a lab coat, you had to wear a face mask, you had to wear gloves, and you also had to wear a hairnet. They took safety precautions seriously and I could not step in there without having everything completely wrapped up and secure. My hair had to be pulled back in the safety net, had to have a mask on and had to wear gloves. And I absolutely appreciated that because I was around foundation being made. I was around skincare being made. I was around lipsticks and blushes and highlighters all being made and it can become contaminated if you're not taking the right safety procedures to visit those you know, products being made. So I definitely am very, very hesitant moving forward to shop Kylie Cosmetics. Not that I ever have any desire to because I generally don't give a shit about Kylie Cosmetics. In reality, I don't. And uh, after seeing those photos, I'm kind of like, Ooh, I think she got called out, honestly, because I just find it so hard to believe that a factory or like a laboratory would literally stage a photo op area when she never goes there to begin with. So she definitely got called out and uh, I just think her brand as a whole and her products are a whole are so boring. They're so generic. They have no originality to them. And I think they really just are such a plain 
like it's really such a boring brand now and i think so many people agree with me on that because i never hear anyone ever talk about kylie cosmetics anymore i never see anyone review her products i just think that it's one of those brands that people just generally don't give a shit about anymore okay so next we have the new love fest collection from huda beauty this is in a collaboration with k alley which i believe is their actual like fragrance skincare line and this is her, it says it's launched in Europe, but I do believe there might be here now because I've actually seen people here already reviewing it. Um, so I'm not entirely sure, but, oh, it says August 9th. So yes, it's com it's completely out now. I absolutely have no desire to get the foundation or like the mascara, but the perfume, I would definitely have to check out the perfume because I've had the pleasure of smelling the K Alley perfume before. And I was like, oh my God, it smells so good. Plus it has my name on it. So it's secretly my perfume. <laughs> Could you imagine? But yeah, no, it just doesn't look like it's a very interesting palette to me, especially since it retails for $29 for nine shades. I have a very difficult time paying that price point for this particular brand when ColourPop tends to dupe them like dupe them later on. So yeah, this is a very easy pass for me. But I really do like her bigger palettes. So if she comes out with bigger palettes, I'll definitely like check that out because I love my other ones that I have from Huda Beauty. Okay, so next we have the Welcome to Our Playground collection by She Glam Official. This is inspired by the children's painting and street graffiti. Unleash your inner artist and inner child. And I guess you can like color around in like this palette includes a merry go round water activated shadow palette for $6.99 create playful looks with their bright bold shades or mix and match it has a highly pigmented opaque color it dries to a silky finish and it won't smudge there is some brushes some glosses and some eyeshadow sticks as well and I'm definitely going to pass on this I don't find this to be a fascinating launch at all I'm actually going to stay away from Chic Glam Official because I've seen so many reviews and i've seen some people come forward saying that the way that they treat their workers inside the factory is just atrocious and i don't really want to get involved in that at all so i'm definitely going to be staying away from she glam because i don't i don't want to touch that <laughs> that situation at all so i'm going to stay away from that and i also think this is a very boring collection so that's kind of an easy pass for me as well okay so next we have some new everlasting liquid lipsticks from kvd these are soft matte finish they're comfortable they're transfer resistant they're long wear and they're in 21 shades they it's going to be released with their all-time favorite shades plus they have some new names after the poison flowers so i think these are just like their already re-released products just with new names i do know that you know kvd get, did get bought by a different brand so they're no longer called kat von d they're called kvd and i think they're just reformulating their liquid lips and i saw some red ones in there so i'm kind of intrigued to check out the red ones i've really been intrigued to trying out more products from this brand i don't know when i'll end up getting this but i do but i did see a red and that red is definitely really intriguing you guys know how much i do love my red liquid lips so next we did the newest launch with jacqueline roxanne and because of john hill's passing they actually postponed the launch to a further date it was supposed to launch this past tuesday but jacqueline hill wanted to postpone the launch and oh my god guys when i found out that her husband passed away i was devastated because i literally watched jacqueline and john for years and i always correlated her relationship with john with kind of like me and corey because they've been together pretty much since she was in high school and i've been with corey since i was in high school and granted we have two completely different relationships and different outcomes in our relationships i couldn't help but to like kind of a, I couldn't help to like I couldn't help but like put myself in her shoes and to think about what I'd feel and oh my god my heart was devastated for her it still is and I just I can't even begin to imagine what she's going through but she did post post she did postpone her newest launch with Jacqueline Roxanne but I do want to let you guys know I actually got the launch in PR I received it on Monday and I'm not going to post about it until they actually announce the collection and reveal it themselves I absolutely do not believe in revealing the products without Jacqueline Hill revealing it first because it is her brand she created the products and she should reveal it first before anyone else so just know i actually did receive in pr i can safely say you guys will absolutely love the collection i know i do and i can't wait to reveal it and show it off to you guys but um yeah i just wanted you know just let jacqueline know that i love her my heart is with her and whew, i just know that that's just that's 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 a that's a rough that's a, that's a hard situation that sucks okay so next we have something else again from kylie cosmetics this is their new plumping lip gloss but this is apparently only an ulta exclusive so it says for comfortable fuller ultra shine pout it's smooth and comfortable texture leaves behind a sheer wash of color it retails for 17 dollars <laughs> you guys already know i'm gonna pass on this i absolutely have no desire to check these out but i will say i do think it's cool that she created something for ulta exclusively i do think it's really cool i know that color 
ColourPop does that a lot where they create products specifically for Ulta and I do really enjoy that. So that's awesome that she's doing that, but that's like such an easy pass for me. I think like a lot of this video is gonna be like a pass. Okay, so next we have some classic shadow duos from Besme Cosmetics. This is a split pan eyeshadow duo with shades that are based on cosmetic colors that date back for more than 100 years. Buildable, easy to blend, two finishes, matte and shimmer, classic shades, Besme's first launch is $24. I will say I do love the fact that they're kind of bringing back shades from like 100 years ago, which I think is really freaking awesome. But I just like, I can't fathom spending $24 on two shades. That is just insane insane so like ah i don't know i don't know how the formula is i've never tried besme cosmetics i know they did like a whole like disney collection which i was so freaking cute that they did but they're just so overpriced maybe one day i'll try out the brand but today is definitely not that day uh oh y'all we have a new brand prada just announced prada beauty drawing on prada's brand codes prada beauty will offer an immersive collect um collaborative space to unlock a new beauty perspective so this is launching sometime soon um prada does have like fragrances and obviously beautiful you know clothing wear and every time i think of prada i think of <laughs> devil wears prada movie which is a freaking fantastic movie by the way i love that movie so that is what i think of when i see prada beauty coming out i can imagine if you hear noises in the background that's just my dog breathing very loudly for some reason. It sounds like a freaking um, a, a velociraptor. But anyway, I, I always think of Prada as like really high end and exclusive. And I'm assuming like that's how this brand is gonna be marketing itself in terms of like their makeup. They're gonna be very like lush and like Givenchy high class. Oh, what are you wearing? Prada beauty. Like I think it's gonna be just as expensive like as Chanel and Dior and like, uh, Givenchy like I can imagine that's how this brand is going to be price wise I would just imagine but I will say hey that's really cool I'm, I'm definitely be really excited to see what they have to offer okay so next we have the new ultra matte bronzers from Melt cosmetics it says that these are buildable ultra matte powder formulas blend like a cream it says effortlessly melt into your skin no patchiness or harsh lines get instant smooth and sunless warmth in four shades $39 a piece um, I'd definitely be interested in trying this out. I really do love Melt Cosmetics so much. I really do. And hopefully eventually I could try out more stuff from that brand. Maybe when they do more like, um, uh, mystery boxes, I'll be able to do so. Cause like, it's just so hard to like upkeep with Melt. Speaking of mystery boxes, I do want to let you guys know that Charlotte Tilbury did recently launch two mystery boxes, like a skincare box and a makeup box, but they retail for $150. And I was not about to spend $150 on makeup or like on a makeup box. Like I loved my Charlotte Tilbury last time. So, so worth it. But I just didn't want to spend $150 on a mystery box this time around. And I also want to let you guys know that ColourPop also just launched another mystery box. It retails for $49. It's supposed to have a $149 value with 15 products. That box is actually live right now. I think the Charlotte Tilbury's could still be live. I'll make sure I link them both down below if you guys can check them out if you guys want to. Because I know you guys are always like, let me know what mystery boxes are here. Well, they're here. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late to tell you guys, but there are two new mystery boxes out from Charlotte Tilbury and ColourPop Cosmetics. Ooh, we have a new product launch. We have the new translucent air brush powder from Charlotte Tilbury. This is coming soon. So there's not really too much information other than this is coming soon. We just got like some sneak peeks of it. And I definitely would be really interested in trying this out. I absolutely do love Charlotte Tilbury. I freaking love Charlotte Tilbury, but hot damn. The brand is so expensive. Like I love, 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 love. And I get to try out their products. Like my favorite product so far from Charlotte Tilbury, surprisingly enough, is like the Magic Cream. Y'all, I'm about empty. I'm about empty on that Magic Cream. It is so damn good. And even though I'm really oily, it is just so good. I wear it every single night as my moisturizer and I just freaking love it so damn much. I'm pretty much about to be empty on it. So that's something I will actually invest money on is to buy that moisturizer again because it's just so good. But I would love it if I can like, oh my God, can you imagine if I ever got on Charlotte Tilbury's PR list, oh, I'd be like, your girl just leveled up. <laughs> Middle class, here we come. You know what I'm saying? Like that's exactly how I feel. Okay, so next we have the new white suede collection from Tom Ford. 
Uh, I can imagine this being stupidly expensive because it is Tom Ford. I am definitely gonna pass on this because it looks very plain, very boring, and I just don't get the hype around it. Um, I do see a lot of people do wanna get it. I don't know when it's launching and there's no information on that. I don't know the price point, but it's a very plain Jane palette for me. It's something that does not tickle my fancy, does not make my makeup dick hard. I just don't find it fascinating at all, especially because I'm sure the price point is going to be pretty steep and I just have no desire for it. So I am good. Okay, so the amount of people that tagged me in this next launch asking about my thoughts was really like interesting to me because I just, I don't know, I never thought you guys would tag me in this particular post, but we have the new My Dream Collection from Natasha Denona. Now there is no information about this as of yet, but it's gonna be launching an eyeshadow palette, a blush and highlighter palette, and lipsticks, lip liner, and gloss from what we see in this pictures. And I have to say, this is not necessarily my color scheme in terms of like a palette. I'm a very, very, very much, I'm very, very into color, but I have been dipping my toes into neutral. And I will definitely say it's a very soft romantic palette. It does look rather intriguing. I also really kind of like that highlight blush palette. And I will say the last few palettes I've tried from Natasha Denona, definitely did not disappoint i've been very very intrigued to try out more products from this brand because their products are actually really good i really do love the formula on the shadows especially like when i bought like that glam face one i was so blown away about how good that was and i was like damn it wh why have i been sitting on this brand for so long oh because you know it's pricey but it was so so good so i could definitely see myself getting this and i probably will end up getting this because it just looks so pretty and i could definitely see myself playing with this a lot especially that like highlighter blush palette it's just like calling my name but yeah i think it's actually really cute i wish i had more information to tell you guys but i am definitely really intrigued to check this out because it just looks it looks good it looks like it's gonna be nice like a nice collection okay so this next launch we have the new urban decay collaboration with marvel studios and this is the she hulk collection now i have to say I like one side of the palette, but not the other side. So starting from that green in the center, like to the left-hand side of the palette, I think it's really pretty. But to the right with like the pinks, blues, and purples, definitely not my style. Um, I'm going to pass on this collection. One, I do love Marvels, but I'm not as big into Marvel as like so many people might think that I am. Like I generally, I love them. I'll go see them in theaters, but I'm not as big of a Marvel fan as like my husband. My husband's a huge, huge Marvel fan. I'm more of like... Mm, not I guess I'm not a DC fan can't stand DC but I do enjoy Marvel movies like I do I just don't I, I'm the type of person that I can see it in theaters but I could also wait for it to come you know online for me to rent it like I'm, I'm that type of person but like Harry Potter Lord of the Rings like that type of stuff oh bitch I'll be there at the midnight viewing like you know what I'm saying like that's me and then we have my husband who'll be there at the midnight viewing for this stuff so I definitely um am not gonna get this collection one I didn't watch a She-Hulk show I don't think it's out yet but if it is I'm definitely gonna pass on watching it it just doesn't seem fun to me and the Hulk has always been like my least favorite character of all the Marvel people well no Ant-Man's my word I can't stand Ant-Man with the passion and then I'm not the big I'm not a big Spider-Man fan I know it drives everybody crazy when I say that I am not a big Spider-Man fan I think if you were to ask me like what my favorite um Marvel character is I absolutely love Black Panther oh my god do i love black panther so much i will be seeing that in theaters because i love black panther and then i think my sci-fi favorites are the guardians of the galaxies fire fire and then probably would turn into like iron man and thor like that's where like my like favorite stuff tears down so uh she hulk is definitely not on that list at all but um the collection itself doesn't really look pretty i get why there could be two sides like for like two personalities but I just have no desire. I just wish that if Urban Decay got rid of like the pink purple side and made it like an all green palette, that could have been something that I could have worked with. That could have been something that I'd have been like, fuck yes, I'm gonna get it. It looks so good. And I could have worked with that, but they kind of did it that way. And I get it because you know, She-Hulk, I get it. But yeah, I'm gonna pass on this collection. It doesn't look like it's gonna be 
for me and it actually will be launching on the 22nd in case anyone does want to get it okay so next we have another day another color pop and color pop is launching their first ever hair products this is the main event collection this collection is going to include semi-permanent hair tints and coloring conditioners and they are ready to use semi-permanent colors, add vibrant hues to mix up your looks, giving you colors that last. Now I do wanna let you guys know, this will be available as of August 25th, and I actually got this in PR. I got this in PR. Me, what, what? I got a ColourPop launch before ColourPop launched anything? <laughs> that was so freaking weird if you guys follow me on instagram which you guys should i don't know why you guys are not following me on instagram you guys should definitely follow me over there but if you guys follow me on instagram i actually did tag color pop in my stories because i got this in pr super random that i got this in pr I, I didn't i haven't gotten their makeup but i got this in pr which i thought was actually really cool that i got sent this i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to do with it because it is a skin tint I obviously do get my hair dyed and my hair is a little greasy at the moment because I haven't washed it in almost two days. And you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't. So, you know, my hair is definitely nice blonde and I do re really take such good care of my hair. Mine has been greasy today, but the idea of adding like color to this, I don't know. I don't know because I'm very particular about what goes in my hair because I do spend so much money on my hair. I value my hair so much. So like this is something that I'd have to show my hairstylist and be like, can I put this in my hair? Is it one of those things that's like fun or it does say semi, semi permanent. Oh, am I going to fuck up my hair? Do you know what I'm saying? But uh, I do think it's really cool that ColourPop sent this my way. And I'm definitely really excited to show you guys that. I'm cause I did save it. I put it back in its box because I did save it because I'm showing you guys it in a PR unboxing. Okay, so next we have the new Daisy Birthday Collection from Lawless. This is a limited release collection. So it looks like it's gonna have a blush, some lip filler, and some lipsticks. It's very cute. It's very soft, pinky collection. I really do like the feel of it, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna definitely pass on it because I'm not really into heavily pinks, but I will say it's super cute though, and I really do enjoy Lawless a lot. So um, yeah, I think it's really cool that they are doing something so, so cute and dainty. And next we have some new updates. So if you guys don't know, Light Slacker is a nail polish brand, but they are gonna be launching some new lipsticks. So they're gonna be launching some press on nails, some jelly bomb lip lacquers, and some lacquers for the lips. So I think it's really cool that they are branching out and they're creating their first their first like lip balm products. I think it's really cool when a brand that does that because it kind of allows them to expand and, you know, bring more people to the brand that might not have tried the brand before. So I think that's actually really cool. Okay, so right now I am seeing Trend Mood talk about this, that skin tints are the new trend. So we have a new product. This is going to be the Iconic London Super Smoothing Blurring Skin Tint. It says a lightweight ultra hydrating skin tint that delivers a blurred and flawless satin matte second skin long wear finish for up to 12 hours. And um, yeah, I'm gonna pass on it. Uh, like I told you guys earlier, I'm not the biggest fan of skin tints. So that is something that I'm definitely going to be passing on because I just know. <laughs> I just know, I know me, I'm not going to like it. So why bother reviewing it? Just shut on it when I know I'm not going to like it in the end, you know? Okay, so I don't know much information on this because of the fact that I haven't seen Laura Lee talk about this yet because she's not talking about it until the 19th. It's currently the 17th, but Laura Lee um, had the brand Nudie Batuti, and I know that she ended up closing down the site for the last... I want to say four to five months, but she did make an announcement that on um, August 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, Standard Time, they are coming back with one of their biggest launches ever, and they changed the name to Mini MLA. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Mini, Mini MLA, Mini, Mini Mila. Like, I don't know how to say this properly. Like, I generally don't because there's really not much information on it, except that she says that they're returning. They have some screenshots of her trying out the outfits. It looks super cute, really, really comfy. I absolutely love that for her. I love that she's rebranding. I freaking loved um, Nudie Batuti. I did a whole video on this brand and it's so cool to see her coming back and doing stuff like this. So they are rebranding themselves. Again, I don't know what this is going to be called, but um, yeah, I think it's called a Minimum, Minimum LA. 
minimum, minimale. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to be saying that wrong. By the time you guys see this video, maybe Laura Lee would have made her announcement by now, but unfortunately she hasn't. So I don't have too much information other than that they are definitely rebranding themselves. And yeah, <laughs> I'm really excited though to see what they're coming out with because I really did love Nudie Patootie. Okay. And last but not least, we have another day, another ColourPop. And this is ColourPop's collaboration with Disney's high school musical collection. This actually launches tomorrow, like literally tomorrow, or actually when you guys see this, this collection will be live right now. And I am going to be really, really honest with you guys. I am not getting this collection. Oh God, no. Like <laughs> I cannot stand high school musical. I cannot stand it. I hate it with such a passion because I have worked at Disney for over 10 years. I have definitely come across my fair share of high school musical performances, especially at Hollywood studios. Hollywood studios um, had like a midday performance and they always sing, we're all in this together. Oh God. I don't even know the lyrics of the song, but they play that all the time. I just couldn't stand it. And I'm just, I've never been a fan of the movies. I only ever watched the first one. I never saw two and three and I think I saw somewhere where like they're bringing it back or like they're doing like a return they're doing something with it right it's just it's not for me it's not for me I didn't grow up in that era of high school musical it came out when I think I was like a teenager at that time like I, the high school musical guys I say this kindly high school musical is like Paige Corrin's generation like I think Paige loves high school musical I could be wrong I could just be assuming but that is like her age group being in love with high school musical for me I grew up watching That's So Raven Lizzie McGuire like that was my genre to watch even like Hannah Montana I was already kind of growing out at Disney at the time when Hannah Montana came on I did watch it but it didn't spark the same love that like Lizzie McGuire and that's so raven did you guys know what i'm saying like that was like if they that's why i love liz mcguire because i thought that was so cool but they like are high school musical i just yeah no it's not for me and you know what i will say at least the palette's kind of cute it's a kind of cute palette like the color story but oh my god i am so passing on this collection because it is not for me in the slightest i just i can't stand high school musical i can't stand it I, it's just not for me <laughs> but if you want to get it oh my god i will absolutely support you it's just it's just not for me but i'm just real glad they did like a liz mcguire they should do it that's so raven one that's so rape oh, how'd that song go Ah, whatever. I love That's So Raven. That's So Raven and Lizzie McGuire were the shit. I wanted to be Lizzie so bad as a kid. Like I even wanted to get that heart necklace, which I ended up forcing my family to get for me was that heart necklace. My aunt Julie got it for me. Freaking loved it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that is, for, that is it for today's anti-haul or is it? Pretty much this entire video, I think I only had like one or two items that I said I wanted to get. Everything else, I just generally have no desire to get. I know that right now, makeup is making a huge comeback in terms of like so many different makeup brands are pumping out makeup faster than ever. And we're seeing so many new launches and I know we're gonna be so, seeing so much more with the holiday seasons right around the corner. And for me, this is my job, this is what I do for a living. And as much as I love makeup, Oh, it could be a little, a little overwhelming. It could be a little overwhelming whether I get in PR or I buy it myself. It's just a lot, a lot of makeup's being released right now. So I decided to just gently buy what I really want to buy and what really excites me compared to buying every single launch because it's just not feasible to own this much makeup. It's not. And I'm ready to do a declutter. I am ready. <laughs> that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys saw anything that I talked about and you guys want to get it, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up because it really does help my channel a lot. I don't know if you guys realize that, but liking this video really does help to boost it. And I just, I really appreciate all you guys' love and support. And also, if you guys have not subscribed to me, please consider doing so because I do post because I do post four to five videos a week. I also live stream quite often and it's always so much fun. So make sure you guys come join me on that. And I just want to say, and if you guys have not already, please also head over to my other channel. It's R for Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey, and the biggest thank you goes to all these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribe, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you, and I'll see you guys in the I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye. 
and whether or not it's worth your purchase. And skin tint by. Ugh. And the only reason why I say that is because I had the pleur. They took it extremely. It, you had to wear. You had to wear a lap if you're not taking the right. If you're not taking the right step. And it, be, it could become contaminated. If, if you guys don't follow me on, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram. So guys, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please let me know.